The United States takes the resolutions of the Security Council seriously. We urge other nations to do the same. We're working to build the broadest possible coalition to enforce the demands of the world on the Iraqi regime. I've told all the members of the United Nations America will play its historic role in defeating aggressive tyranny. I hope the good people of Iraq will remember our history and not pay attention to the hateful propaganda of their government. America has never sought to dominate, has never sought to conquer. We've always sought to liberate and to free. Our desire is to help Iraqi citizens find the blessings of liberty within their own culture and their own traditions. The Iraqi people cannot flourish under a dictator that oppresses them, threatens them. Gifted people of Iraq will flourish if and when oppression is lifted. When Iraq has a government committed to the freedom and well-being of its people, America, along with many other nations, will share a responsibility to help Iraq reform and prosper. And we will meet our responsibilities. That's our pledge to the Iraqi people. Like the members, I've carefully weighed the human cost of every option before us. If we go into battle as a last resort, we will confront an enemy capable of irrational miscalculations, and capable of terrible deeds. As the commander in chief, I know the risks to our country. I'm fully responsible to the young men and women in uniform who may face these risks. Yet those risks only increase with time. And the cost could be immeasurably higher in years to come. To shrink from this threat would bring a false sense of temporary peace leading to a future in which millions live or die at the discretion of a brutal dictator. That's not true peace, and we won't accept it. The terrorist attacks of last year put our country on notice. We're not immune from the dangers and hatreds of the world. In the events of September the 11th, we resolved as a nation to oppose every threat from any source that could bring sudden tragedy to the American people. This nation will not live at the mercy of any foreign power or plot. Confronting grave dangers is the surest path to peace and security. This is the expectation of the American people and the decision of their elected representatives. I thank the Congress for a thorough debate and an overwhelming statement of support. The broad resolve of our government is now clear to all, clear to everyone to see. We will defend our nation and lead others in defending the peace. May God bless your work.